Hey there, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. LTK here, talking about CRKT Pilar, and this is an exclusive that was a Blade HQ knife. And I just checked them, uh, they show to be out of stock now. I grabbed one when they came up. Uh, I had heard through Apex News, which is Zelric. Uh, <laughs> how's that for a finger flick? Um, that they were going to upgrade the Pilar or Pillar. I mean, I was talking to Slicey Dicey. I'm going, is that Pilar or Pillar? And he goes, well, it was named after Hemingway's boat. It was Pilar, actually. So he goes, but it's running 70 to 30 online as Pillar. So <laughs> whatever. So we can be an elitist and say Pilar. In any case, this is a Vogs Nest design. And I really like the design of the knife. It's a small knife. It's great to carry. It's easy. It's ergos. It's so much going for this knife. Um, and CRKT, every once in a while, they come out with a great one. Uh, like the Carnifex or the Fossil or the G10 Hijinks by Ken Onion. Or, you know, there's there's others, too, that I really, really like. Um, and unfortunately, you know, this is still on washers. This is, of course, steel, but that's okay. Steel frame. Carbon fiber, okay, if that's carbon fiber, which I think it's a laminate. In any case, so, and it's, instead of the wonderful 8CR13, MOV, oh, where do they say that? They don't say it here. It's 12C27 Sandvik steel on this, which is just barely crawling above the MOVs, I guess. So they kind of just pulled themselves across the line of really not an enthusiast knife to kind of maybe somebody might buy this that's into the enthusiast atmosphere otherwise a lot of other people will buy it just because it's easy to use carry you know you got tip up tip down right hand uh options on this knife you got a backspacer which is kind of nice whatever that is uh i don't know what that is actually it's pretty tough though but it's like a white it's like either a white g10 or something <laughs> interesting here's your lock up by the way and you can open it with your thumb as well yeah about 40 percent lock up pretty good lock up this is pretty easy to disengage look at the pass through here okay nice fairly light i took it apart let me show you got this knife took it apart wanted to see kind of what's in the guts and what do we have We've got synthetic washers, Teflon probably, I don't know. Um, it looks like it was, like nobody even bothered to wipe this thing down uh, before they put it together. It was pathetic, and this is probably after I wiped this off, but I didn't wipe this part off. But, I mean, look at that. I mean, uh, I don't know. I just... You know, sometimes you get a beautiful design and then, to, you know, as far as I'm concerned, you, you, you continue to fail on this. I'm sorry, but this is a fail. And I can't tell you how many, when I looked on Blade HQ and saw this, I mean, it's a $50 knife, right? And there was nothing but praise I mean, at least 10 or 12 uh, feedbacks on here uh, from people saying this knife is just awesome. It's great. It's such a nice piece and so beautiful and blah, blah, blah. And I, I don't know. I just, <laughs> here's your specs, by the way. 5.9 inches overall, 2.4 inch blade, blade thickness 0.15, which should be about 3.2 millimeters somewhere in there 12c27 sheep's foot uh 
blade shape, flat grind, satin, plain, blah, 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 okay. Handle thickness, 0.44. Uh, carbon fiber, something like that. Stainless steel frame and uh, tip up, tip down right hand, three ounces. So Jesper Wagner is uh, made in China, of course, uh, probably in the San Ren Mu factory um, in their lower end. <laughs> I mean, I expect better than this from San Ren Mu. I'm sorry. I, wow. That's, that's really tough. Ernest Hemingway's boat, you know, blah, 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 how they came up with that. And wonderful, wonderful, I guess. I don't know. Did I? Did I? Come on. Come on. We got to do this, right? Here's the, like, worth the way. Oh, my God. I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a feedback in here. I'm going to go, this is the most beautiful knife, the finest made material, and the finest materials ever, ever presented on a folding pocket knife. Oh my God, Lord Almighty, please spare us. You know, almost get a finger flick out of this dog. Of course, I haven't used, you know, if they had to put bronze washers on here, it'd get a lot smoother and smoother and smoother over time. I don't know how these go and, you know, you can, you can flick it. You just don't want to uh, get too, too lazy about it. No, I like the design. It's great. Let's compare it to the uh, Para 2. Because this is just a huge disappointment to me. I'll tell you what. If they came out with this in a, let's say, 3.2 inch blade. I mean, really, this would be great to see. Well, of course, then you're getting into the custom. Maybe get Wagner's to make you a uh, custom. But, I mean, you know, if you had titanium. Or, you know what? Just like 3.2 inch blade. Go G10 liner lock. I mean, to me, and then change that backspacer out to some other color. What the hell? Uh, pff, wow, that was that was tough. What did you see that? Let me see. You can see the backside of this carp. Okay, so you know what? You can do a laminate with uh, you know the carbon fiber top and bottom, and then you know in between. I'm not seeing necessarily. I don't know. I I don't know. I mean, to me, I would guess it's a laminate. It could be, it's possible it could be solid carbon fiber, but uh, it doesn't really look that way to me. It looks more like a laminate. In any case, this as a liner lock would be really cool. Um, you know, and put G10 on it. And you could really, you know, dump this around. And of course, you know, they do make a, a blue G10 one with a steel frame and stuff but i'm not big into the war of the worlds here you know the backside looks like a whole different knife you flip it over and it looks like a whole different knife again i know presentation side and all that but you know how many knives just look the same front and back i mean and that makes sense to me i'm just saying um uh, and you can do that i mean this is a compression log here this is not even a liner log but i'd prefer it if it looked the same on both sides and it doesn't need to be a steel frame knife for me. And, you know, this this is not a heavy use knife anyhow. I mean, nobody takes a little 2.4 inch bladed knife to, to you know, to, to go into the, into the wide open, you know, and go off grid with it. I mean, you know, obviously this is for smaller cutting tasks, lighter cutting tasks, that kind of thing. So, I mean, but still, you don't have to have a frame lock to have a good hard use knife, right? So... Am I bitching and moaning? Yeah, I'm bitching and moaning. Uh, here you go. Pivot to pivot. In this aspect ratio, the pilar should look larger. Now it should look smaller. So, yes, this is an eight and a quarter. You know, just kind of a normal standard EDC, at least in my world. So, the para two. Let's look at it. 2.4 inch blade. Yeah, and in uh, millimeters, that's 62, something like that. And then overall, uh, 15 millimeters at about five and three quarter. And let's get the weight on it. Sorry, I dragged you down in there. But, you know, I just, I wanted so much more for this knife. 
God, it'd be great. Wouldn't this be awesome in S35 and titanium? Ah, something like that. I, I just, to me, and maybe, you know, do some more, you know, machine work on the scales, you know, put a design in there if you're going to make it solid tie, but that would really be cool. Um, okay, 85.6 grams unit around here. And yeah, three ounces, like they said. So they're good. They're good. <laughs> How come every time when I go in, I'm going to have to cut the segment and go to the second flick? It's always the second flick where it comes out. Yeah, but it's nice. You know, it opens and closes. It does what it does. And, you know, there's no blade play. It's centered up. So, I mean, it, okay, okay. On the other hand, I mean, I got a knife that I paid 45 bucks for. Yes, it is G10 liner lock ceramic bearings, not plastic washers. D2 steel, you know, backspacer uh, that actually matches nice thick steel liners that are skeletonized. The 2U knife bruiser. I mean, you know, and I could show you. A billion other examples of knives. You know, the best tech knives are in this in this range as well. I'd rather have a best tech, absolutely. That kind of thing. But you know, it's not like CRKT. Get off. Come here. Come here. So you got the fossil. What happened to this? This is the small one. What a great knife. IKBS bearings, all this kind of stuff. This is probably less money, actually. It's about the same. It's close. But I mean, absolutely, absolutely rather have this. Uh, the action is incredible. The design is wonderful. Yeah, IKBS bearings, just, there's, there's some really good ones. The Carnifex, rather have that. The Hijinx, rather have that. This one, even the upgraded one, 50 bucks? 50 bucks? I'll tell you what. I, Wow, I just think that's a lot of money for not a whole lot of knife. I, I I just, I don't get the backspacer. I don't like that. Other than that, I mean, the fit and the finish on this knife is fine. It's fine. I mean, it's okay. Um, Hold on, let me, let me see if it'll even cut a piece of paper. Okay, okay. So it's, it's, it's relatively sharp out of the box. So, you know, this is a great design. Yes, it is. Uh, and, and it's okay that it's this small. That's fine, too. I don't have a problem with that. But I do have a problem with plastic washers, basically bottom-of-the-line steel, and whatever that carbon fiber is with whatever that backspacer is for 50 bucks. I'm getting picky in my old age. I'll tell you that. I'm, nah. Nah, of course they're out of stock now. So, hey, you know what? This will be on my next table sale because, <laughs> you know, somebody will want it. That's for sure. There's, oh, you know, and it's a design. I mean, you know, regardless of the price. Okay, so maybe this should have been a $29 knife, but you're going to pay an extra 20 bucks to, to buy it. Yeah, sure, maybe if you like the design. So I'm not, you know, putting anybody down. I'm just saying... I'm saying, not for me. Right, Flanagan? Come on, don't tumble around. It ain't that late in the day, is it? Ah, we're going to let you go. Hey, thanks so much for dropping in. Nah, not my cup of tea at all. The ergos are fine. Love the design. Don't like the price. Not for these materials. Not for this build quality. Not at all. Hey, guys. Stick with us. We'll be back with another review. Because we're getting grumpy in our old age, I guess. Uh, no, we just call them as we see them. And this one, I do not see. Too bad. It's another opportunity missed. Just like Kershaw did with the Natrix when they first came out with that. What a... Oh, God. What, what an embarrassment. Now they're coming back out. Okay, finally. I mean, you need to recoup. At least you can be responsive to people. This... This is really unfortunate. IKBS on this, make it a liner lock, 
and make a bigger version, make it all G10, make it something you can really get out and use, and then make it like 35 bucks. And yeah, but oh well, just my, my opinion, which pretty much is worth nothing. Take care. You know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.